you say this is about all that's leaking uh, each day with this little bottle of full of stuff? That, that's all. That doesn't seem that bad, honestly. Beaches all along the Gulf Coast are clean, they are safe, and they are open for business. The station is just right across this cut. I'm catching it right now. They lied. It was bullshit. The oil and gas lobby came to us with money in their hands, and we said, take us. The political establishment here have been prostitutes to the oil industry, and not high-priced call girls, in many cases, cheap hookers. They come in at night, they lie in the bottom, and they spray in disbursements all over our shrimping ground. I didn't know you could buy a branch in the military. Oh, there's some other load right here. I think that we've all been poisoned. And this is the biggest toxic waste cover-up in America's history. When we hear from the media, from the government, that the oil is gone, we're being lied to. Behind the IRS, the collection of offshore oil field revenues and royalties is the second largest generator of money for the United States government. BP is the single largest oil contributor to the Pentagon. Today, the elected officials don't get elected unless they have huge war chests of money. Most of that comes from corporations, and almost all those corporations are closely tied with oil. A handful of extraordinarily wealthy individuals and large corporations have a major, major, major influence over our political life. If you continue to believe in the fiction of a democratic system, then you're wasting your time.